Yeah, all right, we are back. And we've just rescued um, Brianne from a collapsing building. Or a collapsed building. Hmm. A partially collapsed and then collapsed again building. Mm, mm-hmm. I mean, you say we, but I think it was really just bells. <laughs> and we say we bells, just... but we really just mean bells as like controlled That's and summoned true. elemental. That's um, true. The Felum tried to help. Felum did try That's to help. That's true. That is true. <laughs> I think Felum knew that if they did try to help, they wouldn't get. They might get undercut on their share. <laughs> um. So yeah, I think. Some of the chickens have settled into the rubble, like, and into the section where, like, Brianne was trapped, um, and are, like, clucking to themselves, um, and, like, I think we hear, um, a kind of cricket thing, um, uh, start up, it's, it's, like, you know, it's evening call, um, and, yeah, uh, and the, I think someone spots, um, Give me a second. Uh, someone spots Nabara, the, uh, um, which is like, I don't know if you know that that's what it's called, but it's like, at this time of year, it's the first star to appear, depending on, like, Ooh. that, and that changes with the seasons. I think I know a little bit about stars hmm. and what they're called. Hmm. Um, but I have a question, which is, um, I know that we didn't learn anything particularly useful, but, but what did I observe about the dead body when I inspected it? Yeah, um, this person was, um, was orcish, um, the, the, um, like, from a leg, you could tell that they were orcish, um, probably just, like, a bit past their prime, like, late, late middle age, um, um, I think you can see that there's, that there's, like, a lot of signs of, like, self-sufficiency around the, around the cottage, um, I think you can tell that, like, the clothes that they were wearing were probably, like, self-made or scavenged. Um, yeah. Right, so it definitely seems like this person lived in the cottage. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, but is was... there, and there's no obvious signs of, like, they were clearly murdered or there was a huge gang here or, like, there's nothing really clear like that. No, there's a bunch of blood near the leg. Yeah, they died from a wound. I mean, like there isn't any rest of the body. Okay. Um. So, like maybe there's still some out there somewhere without a leg. Who knows? Oh, it is literally just okay. I actually didn't pick up on that. I thought the rest of the body was like in the bushes and just the leg was sticking out. No. no. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. I sorry missed that very important note. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just the leg. I think that's totally like also though what like Faustus assumes, and it's just like, oh, well, yes, let's have a look at the rest of this. Oh, go, go, oh, good lord! <laughs> <laughs> it's just a leg, everyone. It's just a leg. One of the chickens well, starts like obvious. pecking at the leg. <laughs> mhm. What did you say I the name was... of the star was? Um. So for this season, the first star of the night is Nabara. Nabura. How do you spell it? N A B U R A. I was under the impression you fleshy people had more bits to you. Generally, uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. I, this is just the the leg part. Uh, there's a whole other three limbs, usually, and a torso and a head. Sometimes a tail. Sometimes a tail. <laughs> Hmm. Well, this this person seems to be in trouble then. Yeah. Uh, yep. Uh, potent. Prob- maybe dead. Probably dead. Given the amount of blood around here, <laughs> definitely dead. If they didn't get prompt medical attention. So I think, yeah, um, I think um, one of those, I think that pennant that uh, in the, um, in the, um, in the like ruin, uh, like blows a little as like an, as like a chilly evening breeze sets in. Um, 
and yeah, uh, um, and yeah, the um, the cricket is joined by like a by like a chorus of other like bug sounds. I have another question. Yeah. yeah. What type of what kind of season is it? Because you say like that Nabara is the first hour of the evening during like this time of the year, but like yeah, how I mean, would you refer to this time of the year? I mean, so currently you're in a place where it feels like um, early spring. Okay. Right. Like this is the thing is that like seasons, like no one f ever fixed seasons. Remember, like right. historically. Right. <laughs> that was never a thing okay. that got fixed. Uh, how big is... Are you saying, like, the area as in all of the current known world feels like early spring? Everywhere you've been today. Are... Okay, cool. Yep. Has it felt like early spring for a little while? Yeah, for a couple of days. Okay, cool. Like, this is the thing, is that, like, I think, like, people start to refer to, like, like refer to smaller start. Uh, there's probably, like, a word in beta for this season, right? It's not just early spring. It's a, a, that smaller thing that a lot, of, like, um, like, we talk about, like, the four seasons, which is a, a very Western concept. Um, whereas, yeah, like, there's often, um, people often have, like, you know, like, like, 12 seasons or like you know or or more right it's that thing of like what's that thing that emily shared the other day where it's like yeah the japanese 72 seasons i think it was yeah yeah, yeah 72 seasons is like what that's one every half week or something <laughs> um but yeah like but yeah like there isn't really a, a yearly seasonal cycle as such, there is just the the temperature and things. Sometimes it feels like autumn, and sometimes it, and like so, all of the all of the wildlife has kind of adapted to this thing of like whatever season it is, deal with that now because you don't know what season's coming next. So, how reliable are the stars? So, this, so like, not very. Um. And so, like, they have, like, seasonal associations and they have, like, place associations. Certain stars are only seen from certain places and um, and things like that. And they shift strangely through the sky. They don't all move. They don't all move as one, right? Like, you know the thing of, like, planets as, like, wanderers that don't move with the rest of them. I think stars now move more like things floating on, like, giddying currents than a moving plane. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Cool. But it's still slow enough that it's really hard to perceive when you look up at the night sky. You still like just kind of see like stars not moving. Wow. Um, question for the group: Do we want to make camp? Yeah. Uh, downside of playing a mute character, I was going to suggest that, but couldn't figure out a way to do it in character. I mean, you can also just suggest it out of character if you need to. But... Sure. Yeah, but I mean, um, like, yeah. A, a way I mean, that you might suggest it, though, is, like, start unpacking your stuff is a, is a possible way. Um, but, yeah, I think we should make camp. Sure. Who's leading the camp? I mean, the ranger is probably pretty good at making camp. I mean, it's a, it kind of sounds like Bells is doing it, though, right? I was... <laughs> That's yeah. true. I think it's Bells. Go for it, I, I was going to try and catch some chickens before we went to bed, but... <laughs> yeah, you're distracted by chickens. All right. <laughs> Bells, lead us in a in a great camp. All right. It's everyone consuming a ration. Yes. And mm -hmm. you've got plenty of time and energy left in the day. You haven't traveled into the night. So you get a plus one for that as well. So you've got plus two on your camp roll. So everyone please mark a ration off your character sheet. Yes. Including two for um, Brianane because you've got to feed Felum. Yeah, I mark off two for that. I have zero left in that particular dungeon rations thing, so I'm going to need to refill my dungeon rations. I've got another set, thankfully. Cool. That's a, that's a nine, so um, yeah. Um, everyone gets one one camp action. Um, what, is it, what do you do? What does it look like this evening? What, is, what does camp look like? 
I'm absolutely going to tell a story if anyone wants to listen to a story. Oh, I really want to listen, but I, I need to recover a condition real bad. I've got three. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> friend. I think Bells will listen to a story. Mm-hmm. Cool. I was like, I was going to suggest that maybe you wanted to go looking for um, looking for rations, but no, you want to recover a condition. Yes. Um, what do, what does um like I'm I'm interested just um mechanically like bringing what condition are you recovering and what are you using to recover it because you have to consume yeah. something. Yeah, indeed. Um, so let's see here. What are the conditions I have? So I have weak. Uh. Uh. I have scarred ticked, but I believe. Okay, I so let me. Let, let, yeah, let, let, so they are. What What are the stats that you have conditions for? Oh, yes. Strength, wisdom, and charisma. So they are. I think that's shaky is one of them. Where's. No, shaky's dexterity. Oh, shaky's dexterity. Sorry. Um, let me find. I'm trying to find the. I believe that here. both my charisma and wisdom won. Yeah, weakened. Were, yeah. Weakened, and then you've got charisma, which is grumpy. Yeah. And then what yes. was the other one you had? Um, wisdom, which I believe was connected to being de- being, um, I think, depressed that, or something. That's, to that yeah, that one's called distracted. So that could be yes. depression or yeah. you know, any of those sorts of things. Ah, uh, yes, I was thinking about my lost wife. That's right. Yeah. So, like, what is it? A like, is it? What, what do you consume, and what is this? What is this like time alone spent t- tending to yourself look like? I think I'm gonna try and fix my wisdom. Mm-hmm. Get a little I bit think, less depressed. Yeah, I'm gonna try and be less depressed. Um, and to do that, I am going to. I was thinking of you trying to use something from my adventurers kit. Uh, that's the wrong tab. There we go. Um, ooh, I've only got two uses left. Yeah, I'm going to spend a use from my adventuring gear mm-hmm. to uh, light a candle. Oh. Nice. Good use of adventuring gear. I'm gonna go uh I'm gonna go towards the go to in the ruins of the house where that person had the carvings of the people from mm-hmm. their past village. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh and rather than fixating on what I've lost, I'm gonna try and do something nice for someone else who might be lost. And I'm gonna try and by the light of this candlelight, I'm going to try and set these figures that the person had up in what I hope is a nice, tidy thing. And maybe I'll maybe I'll pile some rocks up to make a a a, a, a shelter or something for them to try and protect them from the elements. Cool, awesome. Yeah. Um, I think you noticed that um <clears throat> that like once you start doing this, you notice that that, that a bunch of them. Um, there's like a couple of little, like, um, kind of scenes that they kind of set up to do, right? Like a, like a, like, um, in the same way that like, if you picked up the pieces for, uh, um, uh, 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 Christian Christmas, uh, nativity set, you -hmm. would kind of be like, oh, well, this one's leaning over in this way. And then these ones, and you can kind of like work out how they are interacting and positioned. Mm-hmm. And so, yeah, you um, you set them up, and there's you, you find that there's kind of two groups, and uh, that ha- that are like kind of in conversation. And then at the edges of the two groups, between them, there are two figures that are uh, there are two um, young male figures that are turned to have a conversation with the group, but have their hands outstretched, kind of sideways and behind them to like hold hands. Um, and this is the like Aww. kind of the kind of space that you um and like all of the figures are carved lovingly right or um but these two have the most detail um and one of them is definitely orcish uh i'm feeling a kinship to this poor orc fellow 
Yeah. Okay. Meanwhile, um, in another part of the camp. Indeed. Um, <clears throat> so I think, um, yeah, Faustus has like has has finished sort of setting up, which really just like involves putting like a, a bedroll down or whatever. Um, in fact, I don't even know that he. I don't know that he actually has a bedroll, so I didn't take adventuring gear. I just took rations. Um, yeah, so bedroll is a thing that like should be listed in your inventory. So. Yeah, well, it isn't. So I guess he doesn't have one. So, but it's early spring; like it's it's not too bad, I guess. Um, it's not winter, although this is a jungle anyway. Anyway, if it's not freezing cold, I won't worry too much about it. No, I would describe it as nippy. Nippy. All right. Well, yes, he's he's sort of set up his his little spot kind of near the fire, uh, <clears throat> and taken out like a, a ration and is sort of like chewing on it and and looking up thoughtfully at the sky. And sort of begins to talk kind of to everyone and no one in particular. Um, and, uh, and yeah, it says to himself, ah, uh, Nabura. Is it, is it Nabura? Nabura? Nabura. I mean, I'll just say it in some way. It's probably wrong because uh, that, that's what I do. But, yes, uh, Nabura. Ah, yes, Nabura. The first star of, well, the, the sometime, I suppose this time. <sighs> would you like some information uh, about Nabura and this and this season, Emily? I would. If yeah. there is more that I would know, then I would love. Yeah, Nabura. Nabura is a um is a hunter, um Ooh. and uh, and is seen in like early spring to go out and like. Uh, Nabura is a is is a kind of a dishonorable hunter because oh. Nabura Nabura hunts the hibernating. Oh wow! Um, will go into caves and um. And those sorts of things, um, uh, yeah. Um, and I think, that if anything, this is like first melt or the the, mm -hmm. the, the, the season, right? Mm. But you can okay, elaborate yeah. from there if you want. Yeah, no. So I think he he sort of names it and, and describes that story, um, and says, um, uh, ah, "Alas, there was a time when we could have navigated by these stars." I have heard tales from long, long ago. My great, 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 great grandparents talked of traveling great distances with the blessing of Kalabi and indeed the blessings of Shobi, where we could watch the stars and we could know where we were going. <sighs> and he kind of like sinks into this, like, you know, but it is at all, not at all like that. Um, and uh, I think he says, um, I, in fact, I heard a story from very, very, very long ago of a child who made a terrible deal and all of the stars fell out of the sky. I guess they came back, but maybe they came back wrong. And, um, uh, yeah. I think uh, one of the spirits uh, coils out of Belle's throat and... Uh, just sort of really gets into Faust, uh, Faustus's space, like right up uh, in his face. So, uh, so how did you find out about this? And um, I, the stars, their balls of gases, uh, how did you, were they, how did this place not get burned up? And, and were you there? And uh, yeah, and he like as the sort of the spirit kind of like gets up in his face, he kind of like uh, yeah, like draws back a bit, um, but doesn't look sort of angry or anything, just sort of surprised, uh, and and kind of says, um, oh well, uh, uh, my friend, oh gosh, you have many questions. Um, I wasn't there. <laughs> I'm 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 uh, I'm quite young. <clears throat> I think you'll be able to tell. Uh, uh, the balls of gases. Yes, I have heard about this and and the the physics and things but i'm i'm afraid i'm a little fuzzy on that part um and and how is not how is how has what not been burned up at uh, this place uh, where you all live uh, the you with meat that is um, oh uh well that is a very fine question my small friend and um <clears throat> i'm afraid i do not have that information to hand. Oh. Okay. If you find it out, please tell me. 
I'm very interested. Uh, certainly, of course. If I come across this uh, nugget of wisdom, I shall indeed share it with you. What's Bells's like, like interaction? Like, what's Bells's expression and stuff around? Like, while this this spirit is having this interaction, mm. uh, she is yarding on it, trying to pull it back into her throat. Okay, okay. cool, awesome. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Nice. It sounds like it sounds like um, Bells is being is actively listening to uh, to the tale. That was the intention. Yeah. Yeah. So Bells, you give an XP to. Uh, to Faustus uh, and Faustus, if um, who who are you directing the tale to? Is it back to Bells? It's, it's whoever's listening. So yes, it's, yeah. it's definitely Bells. Yeah, cool. awesome. Um, what's Tisks up to? Uh, they are finding some large flat stones that were part of the house that have been warmed by the sun, and they're going to go and soak up some of that warmth. Mm-hmm. Cool. Awesome. Is that um, and- resting soundly? Yes, this is resting soundly. Awesome, cool. So your next roll um, in the morning will be will be at plus one. Awesome, very nice. Uh, a a better one, bed. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, nobody took any hit point damage, did they? No one's taken any hit point damage yet. No. Okay. Sorry, I didn't mean to say yet. Um, <laughs> that was a. Oh. I mean, what's the name of the show again? What are you talking about? I don't. I mean, it's not called. I'm not trying to injure you. So. Mm, mm. Yeah. All right, so yeah, um, when I think yeah, um, morning like arises. Um, I think it's kind of like slightly. It's definitely a dewy morning. Um, one where like everything has that like little coating, uh, coating of dew uh, over it, except for obviously like tusks and their warm rock. Um, um, but yeah, um, I think the. I think I think just before people wake up, we see like um, we see one of the chickens like wake up and go and like find one of the crickets and just like uh, and like shoot its tongue out and like snatch it and it back into its into its beak, um, and then like you know fuck, 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 like wander around and go and be like like you know examining Phelim and stuff. <laughs> what? What? This world is so weird. Ah. Uh. Wow. Wait. Did sometimes you, say, you did sometimes you, you got eaten insects. Did you say the chicken like looks at Phelim? Yeah. Like is the chicken hitting on Phelim? Um, is it trying no, to impress more, more... this large blue rooster? I mean, maybe. <laughs> so what's bit, happening here? I mean, we c- who can know the ways of bird? True. I definitely don't. That's why I chose one as an animal companion, because they are unknowable fey things to me. Mm-hmm. I feel like, like as, as a bird owner, I'm always like, yes, birds are an alien intelligence. Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh... Hey, fella, maybe you could try and catch those chickens. <laughs> oh, jeez. Does Phelim have, like, capture or hunt? Uh, I think Phelim naturally gets... Uh, let me check, actually. I Phelim can Phelim probably has... kill a chicken for you. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you catch know, a chihuahua, alive, a chihuahua a can thing. do that. We do have a necromancer. <laughs> <laughs> the necromancer is currently a frog. <laughs> we do have a frog. Um, yeah, I don't think it can do that. It's, I mean, it's got weaknesses savage, so... Definitely not capture alive. Yeah, no. I mean... No. Not within the meaning of that word. Felim can bring you pieces of chicken if you want. <laughs> yeah, no, it's not what I'm after. Um, I like the idea that you're like, let's get some chickens, and Felim's like, Brock, and you're like, no, that's not helpful, and like, Felim just can't understand why that's not helpful. You said you wanted chickens. It's like, no, but if we capture them, we could... Uh, never mind. Um, yeah, I guess I pull out a little treat from my bag and give it to Phelim, and then I will wake the others. Uh, when Tsk uh, wakes up, they also go and they grab a cricket to snack on. 
Yeah, and like you grab this cricket, right? And it's um, it's like um, like the body of like a locust or something, but its legs, um, its big powerful hind legs, um, have like a sorry, um, have like a um, like a wing to them, um, that when it, you grab it, it like flutters these uh, these like big weird hind leg wings that make this weird like shimmering of like many tiny um brightly colored faces um like very interesting i put it in my mouth (laughs) yeah cool yeah yeah yeah. um (laughs) it tastes it it tastes like every other cricket you've ever eaten so nice (laughs) uh when um uh when um brianine comes to wake up uh, Faustus. I think Faustus has been like very asleep and like snoring, uh, and like sort of mumbling. And uh, like uh, as as you like you know move him or whatever to to wake him up, uh, he kind of like snorts and mutters in his sleep and and shouts out, oh, "I swear I didn't know he was your husband." Oh, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> yes, excellent. And then like sort of you know organizes himself and like wakes up. This is just not the kind of character I would have expected Emily to play, and I love it. <laughs> He's so good. I love him. What does the, the morning look like? What's the plan, team? Yeah, we need to continue our research, I guess. Uh, well, Bells takes a couple minutes and buries the leg. Yeah. Uh huh. That's yeah. Um, what? tradition or ritual do you do for like burying it do you just like dig a hole and put it in or do you like um do any kind of like rituals or things with it that depends hmm uh is today associated with any of the wardens i mean not specifically um you're in a space i mean like horu is dominant everywhere but like also you're in a space that um actually i think i think Brianne would um and maybe some other people would have noticed looking around the house you can tell that this person honored Oli. so sowing seeds and taming the wild um hmm I think it's buried, and the ground around it is uh, cleared. Mm, mm-hmm. Cool. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, just s- sings a morning song uh, with an OU. Yeah. It's like basically like Amazing Grace because I'm thinking of their songbook kind of being like a book of camp songs with some other things. Put yeah. In. yeah, for a second there, That's I had so like an image of a of a kobold attempting to sing Ave Maria, but <laughs> I I uh, I misheard yes. that as a song that you sing in the morning. Yeah, that's why that's why they uh, that's why they corrected the uh, the oh the, yes the, the OU. OU. I thought OU was an instrument, not O U. Yeah, they were they were talking about like the spelling. Yeah, no, I get it now. I'm silly. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> No, that's uh, like Bells <laughs> smiles beautifully at Tisk and uh, pats them on the head, probably. Mm-hmm. Cool. Um, all right. Yeah. Yes, I think I, I would uh, listen very enthusiastically to this song and at the end give a like a, an applause, you know. Um, as, I- as, uh, as we... Yeah, maybe we should have a discussion about how we're going to try and find this creature that we're looking for, because it's I'm confident that it is near here or that there is a trail setting out from here somewhere. I'm just having trouble finding said trail, so I'm interested in hearing other thoughts on how we could track this creature. Um, well, it is morning, and... It is a big lizard, so it's probably looking for somewhere large and open in which to sun itself. That is an excellent plan. Very smart. I yeah. Like plan. Um, yeah, so it, uh, I, 
are you searching for such a place? Is that is that what? It, I think I'm going to try and hunt a sunny spot. Yeah, I can see like hunting, or I can see um uh uh discerning realities to try and like find places. Yeah, nearby I mean, I could or, discern. Like I I like I think that the the, the that kind of, that could go either way. So. Now that I've fixed my wisdom, I can discern. <laughs> yeah, up to you. Um, I think as we're, I think I will use discern realities because it's always fun. If it, um, if it's discerning realities, I think it's tisks. Mm, that's yeah. Fair. Doing yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let me grab that so I can do that move. Yeah. Because I put in my class moves, but I didn't put in the uh, the other moves yeah. that are you can just hit useful wisdom. to have. You can just hit wisdom if you want to, and then we can yeah look it up. There we go. Now I got it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, nice. ask, ask up to three. So as you're searching and like hunting through the forest for somewhere that looks appropriate, um, ask up to three questions from the list. Um, uh, let's see. What should I be on the lookout for? Um, I think you notice as you're moving through the space, um, the, um, the, yeah, like a bunch of, that, like a bunch of the trees have been like knocked asunder. Um, I think you find an arm. Does it look like it's similar to the leg? Hmm. Okay. I, I think I I sort of like a, a nervously scratch my my beard and I say um uh, I wonder if perhaps our, uh, our <coughs> limbless friend here had a unfortunate meeting with um a riddler of large and dangerous proportions. At some the point, riddler. yeah. At some point, I think you find a uh, like a great old. Uh, uh, like, um, it's probably not a tree because it didn't. No, it's a huge, big old tree, and into it has been carved the word um, "a river?" Question mark. Hmm. Like bound up to the tree and point at it dramatically and say, "Aha! Is it a riddle?" <laughs> That's not how yep. that's spelled. Uh, Bells <laughs> is going to walk up behind Faustus and point with the arm. Mm. Horrifying. <laughs> um, okay, I'm trying to think of my other two questions. Which of these will point me to a large sunny spot? Uh, yeah, what here is useful or valuable to me? Yeah. What, would, would, would uh, okay, I'll ask that one last. Uh -huh. and I'll, um, what here is not what it appears to be? Um, it's not a riddle. <laughs> I think you work out that, like, um, the, like, one of the trees has, like, been, been like, pulled out and like tossed aside right and i think you spot something else that like means that it's been like grabbed with hand with great large hands right like not with opposable thumbs right mm -hmm. um, not with like claws yeah not with not with uh, just pad foot claws no yeah it's yeah um, and you know, and I think you also work out that it's been walking on two legs. Okay. But something very big. Something very big. Well, I mean, uh, Tisks walks on two legs and has opposable thumbs, right? Yeah. Yep, that's true. But but that it doesn't match the description that. I, I do have claws. I do have little. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and like, and like, yeah, the, then it might have claws, but the point is that it's been grabbing things and moving them. Mm. What things has it been moving? Does it seem like it's been moving things out I mean, of the you're, way? You're following a path, right? Of like right. debris, and it's been moving things out of its way. Right, right. Yeah. right. Oh, what if I was thinking maybe it was just a gardener? Mm hmm. <laughs> 
Okay. Give me that what here is useful or valuable to me. Yeah, I think you find I think you find like the the order in the madness that gives you a direction of its movement and I think you come across um in the like morning time sun um you come across let me see if I've got uh do I have a picture of this? Um It's a, yeah, I think there was once a great tower here. Um and it ha- uh, but it like fell uh, 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 and it fell and so um it there are still some like um there are some bushes and things growing up through the rubble but it's fallen recently enough that like most of the trees that were there have like uh, have un- um it cre- it's created a clearing and i think uh, like you walk past a great um a great brass bell as you uh, as you spot um uh curled up and like uh, and making a great heaving like snoring sound um this creature um it is several stories tall if it were standing um uh long and snake like like a goanna but with big powerful shoulders um and almost man like arms um with uh with spindly clawed hands upon the end its scales are like a satiny slate um and it uh, and it has running uh running from like uh f- from the top of its head down its like four uh, down its like long snout and um and like over its uh, over its back down the top of its tail over its shoulders this great sh- uh, like horrible greasy hair um and you can see it's um it's it's huge uh mouth is like just full of fangs is like like it's got fangs for all its teeth um and yeah it's curled up in the um in the sun Are you okay emily would I'm you? sorry, it's just you got the bottom of the man like arms and I can't unpicture Trogdor. Oh my god. <laughs> Emily. Well, now you've just ruined it for me. Um <laughs> You know what? I might actually I'll see if I can share this picture. Um Yes, please. Please give me a better okay. a better reference. <laughs> I went and looked up trunk door because I didn't know what that was. <laughs> well, um, now you do. Now I do. Mm-hmm. Let me find. Let me find my reference image because this is from my um. Turned out I had seen trunk door many times before and just didn't know that was their name. Yep. Mm-hmm. He's the yep. he's the burning Riddler nating the jungle side. <laughs> um, where is this image? This is this is my reference image. Um, oh, why is it not letting me do that? Um, Trogdor okay. has like the opposite of spindly anything. <laughs> it's <true. laughs> big beefy. It's yeah, true. Big beefy boy. <laughs> spindly legs. Definitely spindly legs. Well, I mean, you know, leg day. Not important. <laughs> exactly. Who cares no about one, legs? No one wants to walk anywhere. Here is my... Apparently I can own... Oh, really? Can I please copy and then paste? There you go. This is my uh, reference image for this one. Ah. Yeah, yeah cool. cool. That is much more horrifying. Yep. yep. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah. yeah. It's satin. It's satin slate. Um, it's satin slate scales are almost uh, are a, a much warmer color in the morning sun. But yeah, and it's oh. resting. It's currently so resting. It's kind of asleep. Oh yep. dear. Oh, that doesn't dear look idea. like it has opposable thumbs. Uh, yeah, I guess so. Um, <laughs> Imagine that, but with opposable thumbs. <laughs> just big. Right, not, thumbs. Just nothing big action for it. It's fine. It has opposable uh, something. <clears throat> God, oh dear. Whether you could call them thumbs, I know not. Mm. Opposable claws. Mm. Mm. Wow. <coughs> well, 
So does it ask us riddles, or do we ask it riddles? I don't know. I feel like that's a thing that maybe do we want Do we want to kill this thing, or are we trying to convince it that if we win against it in a riddle competition, it'll leave our people alone? Like, that's a good one. I like that. That that seems like a good yes. I... Mm. I think, like, I, I've, like, kind of stopped, sort of, and, and I'm, like, standing quite still and looking at this thing, and I uh, I sort of say very quietly in a whisper to the others, <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> who's good at riddles? Anyone here good at riddles? I think Brianne slowly raises their hand. You, excellent, yes, very good, very good, good at riddles. I think that... Um, was about to raise their hand and then and quickly shoots <laughs> it down. It's like, okay, like, <laughs> like I can be the riddle second. If somebody else has already volunteered. <laughs> um, I think Bells is silently consulting her sundry spirits. Uh, to try and figure out what exactly this thing is. Hmm. Um, and it sounds like you're rolling. Get... It sounds like you're rolling spout law. Yes, but um, I, I, do you think uh, my disability dishonest vocal surrogates would come in here? Because no matter yes, what, I think he, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that will yeah. bump you down one. Um, one result. So yeah. All right, so that goes from a uh, so unless you were being helped, that'll bump you down from a nine to a uh, to a six uh, six minus. Um, no, I think they just lie to me. Yeah, cool, awesome. Um, yeah, this is a this is a dragon. Um, this is a uh, this is probably uh, this is a slate dragon, um, and, or, or a shale dragon rather. Ooh. Um, and yeah, it, it it probably lives like deep under the earth, um, between like between the folds of um, between the folds of ancient uh, between the folds of ancient dead things. Um, and this is conveyed to the rest of the group by a uh, elemental with a dry and academic sounding voice. <laughs> Mm. Well, I um I pat Phelan, and then uh, point to the other three, and I say "God," and then I walk towards. No, this. no, no! Oh, we can, we can all, we can go together. We can go together. It'll be fine. You do, you don't have to go on your own. Oh. I can I can consult for riddles. <laughs> Yes. All right. Well, yeah. Yes. Let's go to together. Know. Yes. Let's go together. Yes. All right. I think, like, I think, um, uh, I think uh, Faustus is like, you know, this, <clears throat> this. I, I will admit, this was all my rather harebrained idea, and I, I will happily uh, delegate. And uh, yes, exactly. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, greet this. I'm sure very friendly entity. Uh, um, but yes, and then sort of says, um, but yes, if you could be uh, um, the brains, perhaps, is a good way of yeah. working it. Uh, I could potentially say hello. We're, we have similarities. Ah, do, do you think maybe uh, you speak a particular language that this creature might speak that um, will uh, help it be more receptive to our somethings? Uh, I don't know what languages it speaks. Languages isn't like a character feature in Dutch world. No, no, it's exactly. just assumed that every that like adventurers speak common. Mm. That's that's the assumption. Some kind of adventurers can't. <laughs> Between us, we will crush it under our intellectual boot heels. <laughs> what? What if it wants to answer riddles? I mean, I got that. 
I mean, yeah, the, the story I, we I had have was, that, was that if people gave the wrong right. answer to its riddles, they got Ed. Well, maybe we could just... Wait, wait, but maybe, perhaps, we could just open with a riddle. Just uh-huh. immediately. You know? riddle sure, but we're to... like, we, un- we have an understanding. What riddle a riddle understanding. With, then? It's, it's, like, it's like in dueling. You never want to wait for your opponent to strike first. You want to take the initiative. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me look at my list of Anglo-Saxon riddles. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh... There's the the cow one. I like the cow one. Sure, let's go with that. Lead on. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm gonna pull out my spear, by the way, because I feel like the bow is not gonna be very useful. <laughs> so, I think uh, like approaches this large this large lizard and kind of uh clears their throat and moves so that their shadow falls over this large lizard a little bit to try and like wake them as least intrusively as possible yeah right (laughs) um i feel like Yeah, so, like, let's assume that it wakes up, but, like, the the amount of intrusiveness will be later determined by a roll. Um, yeah, it, it, I, think a, I think a single eye opens, um, and, yeah, it has, like, um, it has, like, um, black, uh, it has eyes of black, and then, the, like, the whole way, but then um, a ring of glowing, um, uh, of, like, glowing blue iris yeah um that it like uh, that like the pupil within expands and contracts and i think both the outside and the inside of the iris like get like get larger and smaller as it um as it like focuses on the small thing before it uh uh, it smells uh, horribly of like sour milk and like um, long dried blood. Great. Good, good sense to smell. <laughs> to be honest, the sour milk is the deal breaker. The other thing, whatever, copper is fine. But <laughs> Ugh, milk. Uh, I think that they just kind of very politely. They're like, "Hello, my name is," Tsks, and I've heard that you enjoy riddles. The iris, uh, the the pupil dilates and then pins as it focuses on you. I like kind of give a nudge and I say, quickly, with the first strike, just get in there. A huge what, what? tongue like slips out of between some of the teeth and uh, and like tastes the air. The, the, you notice that it has no nostrils so much as like just like horns where nostrils would be um they say uh would you like to try and answer one of mine um yeah it uh, it, uh, it it like lifts itself slowly like one shoulder and like looks down at you and uh, and um and like and says um what riddle would you tell if I were to eat you? Uh, if you were going to eat me, then uh, if I was already eaten, I would tell no riddles because I would be dead. Um, it's like... Yeah, like it stops and yeah, like it sits, you know, like one shoulder up and just looks at you. Waiting. Okay, uh, so they like open up their songbook and they flip through it really quickly to get to like the back, and they say, "Okay, what is this? Four dilly dandies, four stick standies, two cookers, two lookers, and a wigwag." <laughs> Singer Saxon, it's my favorite one. <laughs> I told it to a group of my drunk friends. It was very 
very good. <laughs> God. I think Faustus is like, like, like really, really excited to like hear the riddle, and you know, sort of like, like slightly, sort of like, you know, shuffling and shuffling, and then like just says this, uh, and and he just kind of like, like turns like slowly, <laughs> like it's a book of chaos. What do you expect? <laughs> this is a children's playground rhyme. Um, please roll to parlay. <laughs> okay. To see, is that a it's charisma? A, it's a charisma check. So this is to see, did Can you I wake help? it? Yes, it sounds like you're helping. This is to see, did you wake it politely? Did you answer its riddle in a way that it, uh, the, the first riddle that it told you? Did mm -hmm. you answer it in a good way? And is your riddle good? Okay. That's a seven. You've got a seven. Um, did you want to re-roll the two? It could bring yeah. you down to a six minus is the, is the concern. Mm, well, it's already a two, so I'll, I'll try this. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a six. Yes, I was rewarded yes. to roll a one. That's awesome. Good job. Um, yeah. It cackles and... So, uh, and um, uh, and like throws back its head in laughter, and uh, and says uh, and says to you, I have not seen such a thing in many years. <laughs> um, in its like, I I can do a more sonorous voice than that. I have not seen such a thing in many years. These things which people drink the juice of and uh, and attach bells to no ha 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 they have gone many ways um and he like yeah i think he um i think it, it it's like uh, it, it like looks at you and is like yes yes sometimes they eat what do they drink uh, what do they drink from tell me to have it to have eaten it is to be eaten hmm To have eaten it is to be eaten. Mm hmm. Hmm. Uh, I have a question about mechanics. Yeah, yeah. you can totally invoke <laughs> mechanics here to, like, yes. Is this, is the act of racking one's brain to, to know the answer to a riddle spouting lore? Yes, it is. If you so, if you tell me in the fiction, I rack my brain for the answer to the riddle, then yes. Allow me to rack my actual brain for a little bit at first. Mm -hmm. Yep. Once you've eaten it, it. No, no. To eat it, to eat it is to be eaten. To have eaten oh, it. Oh, to have eaten it. Is to be eaten. Is to be eaten. To have eaten it. Oh, it could be a pineapple because I pineapples have an you. enzyme that breaks down you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> pineapples, yeah. pineapples try to digest you mm -hmm. when you try to eat them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. Not that our characters would know that. That's true. <laughs> we wouldn't even know what an enzyme is. Um, I mean, I think I rack my brains, but like I, I, I don't know. Yeah, don't know. if you're right, so if I'm you're thinking about it, then please roll spout lore, and I will. Oh God, no! But I don't actually. I mean, someone else can do that. <laughs> You could do it as a group if you wanted to. Yeah, we could struggle oh. together. Is that yeah, the whatever thing? it's called. Let's do it. Let's yeah. struggle together one, to like know that. the answer to a riddle. That sounds really fun. So everyone, <laughs> yeah, struggle is one. Everyone rolls um, an intelligence check, and then you, if you get a seven, you <laughs> basically tens can cancel out. Ten pluses can cancel out six minuses, and as long as the end result is there's no one with six minus, you win. I love the okay. idea that, that ten plus. Oh god. Oh dear. Okay. Well, okay. ten plus is someone whacking their hand over someone else's mouth as uh -huh. they start to say the wrong thing. Yep. Well, that's... Oh my god. Am I? Wow. I'm not. Oh god. All right. I'm not. No, I can't save you. Hey Ray, what do you say the answer is? What pineapple? Brienne. Brienne. <laughs> um. Yeah. It says. Um. It says. Uh, it like looks at uh, at you and is like, a pineapple eats nothing. Di uh, and it, and I think it says like digestion is not eating. And it like just reaches down to grab you with its giant hand. 
Um, I'm going to stab it in the hand. <laughs> I have my spear out. Okay. okay. Hack and slash. Yeah. All right. Hack and or slash. Oh, right. I'm weakened. Dang. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay. Yep. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, I think... Um, I mean, yeah, it, like, it fucking crushes you, right? No! <laughs> um, All okay. that character wait, wait, development! Right, <laughs> okay. I'm not, I'm not having any, any, anyone dying because I brought us out here. So I, uh, as it, like, reaches down for, um, for Brianane, uh, I take off one of my leather gloves and I slap it on the ground. No, and I slap on the <laughs> arm. It's like, oh, this dragon! Yes! <laughs> one I, one combat! Yes. And I say, I've asked you, <laughs> you will fuel me in my kind of duel. And I think, like, every, you can tell, like, every word he's saying is, like, a great effort. And he's trying very hard not to just, like, run away uh but yes he he is going to throw down the gauntlet okay uh, so uh, let's see how that goes bells makes the sign for a bad idea <laughs> it's going yep. <laughs> yep um <laughs> Do I? I don't know if I see it. Okay, out of character question. Mm. Out of character question. How do the players feel about me taking this action? Is this a thing that we would find entertaining and ridiculous, or frustrating and uncomfortable? What? Can we get one? to a duel? Mm. Yeah, option one. Okay. Yep. Yeah. We're as players, we're on board with this because I, I personally, I really, I, I get quite uppity sometimes if, if. One person is like, I'm going to go off and do this chaotic thing that is, like, clearly stupid, and everyone else is uncomfortable. So if people are not comfortable, I'll do it, but... I, I am not uncomfortable. I think that my character does not want this to happen, but I'm cool with it. Cool. Oh, yeah, no. I mean, cool. I don't think any of the characters are comfortable with this, <laughs> mm -hmm. but as players, oh, yeah. All right, fantastic. Good, good. Okay. Let's see how terribly this goes. <clears throat> okay. All right. When you challenge someone to a duel, roll plus charisma. Uh, so I got an eight. On a seven to nine, uh, they choose one if they do not accept. Okay. Um, take plus one ongoing against them until they defeat you or they lose the respect of their peers and underlings. Um, what is the they retreat bit? Oh, did I miss part of that? Let me see. Um, a that might be the it, eight. But... The eight means that you don't specifically stop the crushing. So a d10 of damage for Brianne. Ooh, does my armor? That yeah, armor resists. Yeah, it, it's not piercing. Cool. Um, I think my armor's just one. Can I take an action before Brianne is crushed? No. Okay. Um, just because, yes! it, because I take it's one point of damage. It's the specific nice. response to Brianne's hack and slash. So, like, the the, okay. the amount of fictional time between Brianne attempting to stab this thing, right, which is ha means that it has to be within a certain range, and the crushing. Um, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Like, yeah. I I took an action, but it it wasn't fast enough. Yeah. I don't see a current hit points section on this on the character uh, sheet. Right up the top, uh, there's hit points, and then it's got, like, two spaces. Yeah, on the main section, not on the inventory section. Uh, it's below yeah. It's below your armor and above your damage, between your look and your alignment. <laughs> um, in your alignment. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Um, Emily, I need to know, what is your kind of duel? Um, yes, okay. Uh, so, so that it can decide whether or not it accepts. Yes. Uh, my kind of duel uh, is a fight uh, to the death. <laughs> um, because that's, cause that's what a duel is, I'm, I think. Uh, and um, uh, 
we are allowed to use weapons and we are allowed to use magic. Okay. One on one? Yes. Uh huh. And are you aware that this is like a very big, scary, you're aware that it's a very big, scary, dangerous thing? Is this like an angel? It's um, it's yes. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a hmm. above. It's above like mortal rank, hmm. right? It won't. It won't. So like this is the thing. Mortal specifically means will die of old age, mm -hmm. right? Like it doesn't mean unkillable. Hmm. Hmm. But it it kind of denotes a certain level of like badassery. Mm hmm. I mean, I guess I, I guess I was I uh, I was kind of aware of that, but at the same time, I thought like. Uh, it might be killable because of the the origins of the rumor. Um, I mean, yeah, it is killable. This is the thing, right? Like, this is the, 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 like... But is it, like, definitely unkillable by one person? Not definitely unkillable. Uh, not definitely unkillable, no. I'm just letting you know that, like, I'm just getting your buy-in for this being a potentially deadly threat to you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yes, uh, let me just... Uh, let me just, I'm just wanting to check my tools and resources here. Yeah, that's cool. Um, hmm. Because like, yeah, in this game, sometimes people just die, but also like, if it's a thing where I can give you warning of like, this is a thing that is likely to kill you, then I will try and give you that warning. Mm, mm -hmm. Um... Let me think, because like, it would be really great if I succeed at this, and I. But it would be sad if if I kill off this character straight up. But at the same time, um, you know, I'm not too invested yet. And it is. It would be pretty pretty excellent. I mean, it 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 may still it may not take me up on my. Uh, on my yeah, job. I'm trying to I'm trying to work out its, its response, and I just want to get your feeling about where you're at. Look, yeah, let's go for it. I, I'm, I'm willing to take this, uh, these odds. Let's. Why not? Why the hell not? What? This is... oh. Yeah, I think it looks down at you and, uh, and like looks at the glove and says, "What are your terms?" Yeah. And I think we take a break. Okay. All right. <laughs>